Hey everyone, it's me, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time. If you are watching this, that means that I have reached a content making block, if you will, of some kind. This is a fluff piece, it is an emergency video that I made and have saved to my YouTube just in case I end up not being able to make enough content and I need something to fill that empty slot. So today, regardless of whatever else is going on this month, you are going to be watching a video of me camping in my car for the very first time, not in an urban setting. So the very first time I camped in my car, I was actually in Southern California for the Tease Awards, and that was a lot of fun. It was a little bit strange camping in a Walmart parking lot. I'd never done it before, at least not in that kind of environment. I have had to live out of my car from time to time, but it's different in Vegas because casinos are 24 hours and nobody will look at you strange if you're getting in and out of your car at two o'clock in the morning. Um, but in California, especially where the laws are a little bit different there and they actually have signs posted and everything, it's, it's definitely a different vibe. But this was different from all of those situations because I was camping in my car in the middle of the Nevada desert. This came about because I needed to do an interview at the chicken ranch with Matt Cullen at eight o'clock in the morning. And I don't know if you guys know this, but at the time I was nocturnal. I was not a daytime person. So waking up early was difficult and I already lived a little over an hour away from the ranch, which would mean that I would have to wake up not just an hour before I needed to be there, but an hour before that so that I could get ready, eat food, prepare a lunch, and make sure that everything was how it needed to be, and then drive. And I knew that wasn't going to go well, so instead what I chose to do was camp on BLM land near the ranch, about 10 minutes away, and in Pahrump, that kind of land is is plentiful. I think I probably could have even stayed on the ranch grounds. I doubt the owner or the management would have been bothered by that. I don't even know if they would have noticed, to be completely honest, um, if I had been really sneaky about it. But I chose instead to go out into the wilderness and try something new. So this is my first time trying out my car camp setup. Since then, I have changed a few things, and I actually got the opportunity to use those on the drive uh, during our move from New Mexico up to Washington State. So you'll see my setup here, and um, I guess I'm going to let you watch the video and then insert myself at the end talking about the new setup. So enjoy. I'm waking up, uh, first time at my first solo camp. It was 40 degrees last night, which isn't bad because I've got a wonderful sleeping bag and a quilt and my stuffed animal Sarge. But now I have to get out of bed and turn on the car. It's so cold. Oh my goodness, it's 6.30. It's definitely time for me to move camp because I'm not technically sure if this is BLM land or not. It should be, but it's close enough to some residential places that it might be somebody else's property. Um, the original place that I was going to park was BLM land. Um, but one of the things that happens in Pahrump and kind of a lot of places in Nevada is flash flooding. And part of that flash flooding is gravel gets churned up and gets really, really deep. I don't have all-terrain tires yet, so I started driving on this gravel and I got, I don't even want to say, like, a quarter of a mile in was, like, it was much less than that, maybe even a tenth of a mile in, and I was like, there's no way. I can't park here. I will, I will get stuck, so I had to find a different place. Okay, uh, there is frost on my windows. I checked. 
Uh, I'm going to give you a view, though, of where I am through the frost. If you can see, it's gorgeous. Look at that. The mountains last night. Couldn't really see them too well because it was a new moon-ish. Um, but the stars, oh man. The stars are fantastic. I had to get up to pee once. And I took pictures. This oh, was amazing. I am definitely going to have to figure out the pee situation. Because getting out of my car in 40 degrees to go pee was not great. So I might have to figure out a method of peeing in a bottle. All right. Oh, I'm going to do it. It's going to be awful. And you get to watch. Okay. You don't get to watch. Because, um set up my pop socket holder thing so there are like zero surfaces in my car that are actually flat oh god it's so cold well then you get to watch them like here um i have nets up on my windows over my shades which i'm starting to realize wasn't the greatest idea so still working out some kinks in how I have everything set up. My plan right now is to get up and uh, get moving. Get to the ranch in time before my video interview, then I will actually be able to um, get ready. Because <laughs> they have bathrooms and stuff there. They don't know I'm camping. Um, I think if I had told them ahead of time, they would have let me camp out back, which would have been nice. But I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really want to camp at the brothels. Um, I wanted to be somewhere that was a little bit further away from light so that I could have a little bit more darkness, a little bit more privacy. Turn off the fan. Okay. Fans off. Come here. That's my glasses. Figured it out. Uh, yeah, so first thing I'm gonna do, I've got the heat on and blasting. I still have to figure out my setup a little bit better than what I've got. Um, as you can see. <laughs> uh, but I've got my bed, I've got my food. This is like necessities in terms of like I've got all my meds and stuff here and this is gonna be my main thing. I have to do mouthwash and stuff every day. I've got a trash bag that I'm just gonna spit it into, so give me a second while I do that. So right now what I'm doing is I'm checking my battery level on my Jackery. 96% that fan pulled like almost nothing. So one of the things I learned last night was I needed to figure out how to make sure that all of my shades are accessible to me to put up from inside of my car without me having to get out. Um, because I have been storing them under my mattress. But if I'm trying to do stealth, which I almost had to do last night in terms of going to Walmart or somewhere else, uh, I wouldn't have been able to put up my shades without like great hassle. So uh, I'm figuring out a new spot for him today. I really need to have this all set up a little bit better, but I just got in so late last night, I just threw everything everywhere and was like, I'm sleeping. My alarm just went off to wake me up. Crazy though, the sun did that for me, and I actually really appreciated that. The sun was like, hello, good morning, it's time to be up. And I need to figure out how to level out my bed. That took a lot more effort than I needed it to. I gotta figure out a few more things, clearly. Leveling out my bed, number one. Number two, I need to figure out a setup. 
And I think I might be even closer to where I don't have to move a lot of stuff. The only thing I would need to move is the mattress. If this wasn't a vehicle that I used on a daily basis to like drive my kid to and from school and run like grocery errands and stuff like that, the bed would never move. Like I would keep it not folded. Almost done. Goodness. Now comes the kind of tricky part. Turn the heat down. Car warmed up real fast, which is good. Heat off. I need to stop moving stuff around. I'm gonna find a way to make it so that these just stay here. Look at that. We're almost ready to go. Let's get these shades off and get moving. I have also decided that I absolutely need a cargo net. Um, because I've been using bungee cords back there and they don't stay very well. Because it's built for cargo net, not bungee cords. Thankfully, this is like a learning process where I get to figure things out and learn kind of how I want things to be and where I want things to be. Um, I'm gonna get to where I need to be and then I'm gonna fuss around with my car a little bit, I think. Um, figure out where I want to mount my pop socket car mount thing um, and where I traditionally want to keep my notebook and um, laptop. Let's get the shoes on and actually we don't even have to get the shoes on. Let's take the shade down and I will reflect upon my sleep last night. Okay, let's see if you will stay put while I navigate out of this very bumpy part of the desert. It is absolutely gorgeous here. That was awesome. Um, my reflections on last night, sleep-wise, are I slept better than I do usually in my own house. Um, one of the things is that I do seem to have a very specific sleep pattern that definitely requires medication. And, um, now I am about to do an interview, a video interview for somebody's YouTube channel, which I'm pretty excited about. We're going to talk about the ranch, we're going to talk about being trans, we're going to talk about sex work, all things that I'm quite passionate about. Uh, and it's hopefully going to be really good. So I'm already at the ranch. It was just a street drive right here. Um, and I'm going to pull over into the side lot where it's not like gonna be in the way of other people coming in and going out uh, and I'm just gonna pull in and I'm gonna park okay that's the parking it's weird there's like no cars here um first thing I'm gonna do is put on my boots Jackery boots brothel time to get ready for an interview so that was my setup and that was my experience camping in a desert environment for the first time. I actually had a lot of fun. I got to see a lot of stars, more stars than I had probably seen in my life up until that point. And it was just so quiet and peaceful. It was amazing. And actually, the very, very first time that I camped in my car, I, I completely forgot. The very, very first time that I camped in my car was for my birthday, right after I got my Jeep. And it was with uh, my partner and our kid. And we went out to a place called Big Dune. And it was just barely warm enough that I was actually able to set up a tent on the outside of my Jeep, um, like a car tent sort of a setup. And that was really nice. And we had a fire that night and a fire in the morning. And we went out and climbed all over the dunes and tried to slide down the dune, but it didn't really work out too well. And I got sand in my shoes. The camping part was fun. The sand part, not so much. Um, but hanging out with everybody was great. So the uh, so this was actually the second time doing it, but my first time doing it by myself. The adjustments that I made to the setup were actually pretty simple, and I'm actually going to show you those right now. So that right there is a type of cot, if you will, that I made out of the remaining pieces of a very old, very beat up 
bed frame. And I got that because the place that I was laying down in the back of my Jeep didn't, it was, it was very bumpy and it would be fine for taking a nap, but definitely not for sleeping long term. So this allows me to sleep on a flat surface, which is super helpful. The second change that I made um, is an only a, a sometimes change. So I opted to bring a porta potty on our drive from New Mexico up to where we live now in Washington State. And the reason for that was because we were driving through some states where I didn't feel safe or comfortable going into a public restroom. So having that porta potty with me, this little feta pot, whatever it's called, um, portable cassette toilet, while seemingly gross, really saved me a lot of stress and anxiety because if I needed to go to the bathroom in any of those places, I knew that all I had to do was pull over into a, a secluded spot, which, again, is, is not super hard to do when you're driving along the highway. You just pull over to the side of the road. So that was the second change that I made. And then I don't know how much I talked about it in the video because I'm filming this before putting the video together for you guys. But some of the extra accessories that I had for that Jeep are a Jackery with solar hookups. A, that's really cool. I didn't know my computer could do that. <laughs> um, a Jackery with solar hookups. A refrigerator that plugs into my car or the Jackery. And a few other small things that kind of make things a little bit easier to navigate. I think I planned my setup really well because I haven't found that I've needed anything extra beyond what I already had in terms of purchasing or building for my for my camping setup. It's all been pretty much perfect in terms of well really camping. Um, I think my next big purchase for my Jeep is going to be some better tires, um, things that can can handle off-road a little bit better. I would like to, at some point, install some kind of a towing system and a winch, but those are expensive and they are far into the future because, you know, starving artist, college student vibes going on at the moment. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little kind of behind the scenes to that Matt Cullen interview. I'll tell you, it was wonderful to meet that person. He was such a great guy, is such a great guy, um, super friendly. And if you guys haven't watched that interview, I encourage you to. I talk about what it's like being transgender and working in um, the full service industry in Nevada. So there's a link to that somewhere around here. Go ahead and click it. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a great week. If you like what you saw today and you want to see more, hit that button down below, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on social media at iLettercast and check out my website at iLettercast.com. <laughs> That's a no.